right, we're going to go on the cutting edge today, and this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do client-side mashup with Power BI desktop. Now, uh, mashup has been a pretty hot topic over the past few years, so I wanted to add something, uh, you know, a use case to make it a little bit more specific to our industry here in information technology. So, first of all, let me differentiate between client-side mashup and server-side mashup. Client-side mashup we're doing with Power BI for a specific uh, analytical use case where you don't want the data to remain live. So we want to pull data from multiple sources, put it together for an analytical scenario that meets our needs, uh, analyze, show the visualization, and move on. Server-side mashup is something we've always been able to do with our multidimensional uh, database architecture and the Northcraft BI applications where we'll put together data from multiple sources and then you'll want to continue to come back and analyze it again and again and again. It takes a little bit more effort so you have to decide whether or not it's worth it. You know, is it worth the time and the money to build in uh, the capability to keep the analysis available? Okay, so in the client side mashup we're going to take CMDB data with the average CI age of the device and then we're going to take event management data and look at critical events and see if the two uh, have any correlation okay in our mashup example here so I'm going to connect this time I am not connecting live I'm going to import data from these two disparate cubes uh, that can be any data sources including even Facebook which you probably won't find a lot of use cases for that but, uh, okay, so we're going to begin with that, and let's start with uh, bringing our data in from the CMDB. And what I want to do is get two things very quickly. I want to get the average CI age, okay, and this is in days. And then we want to bring in the host name of the computer system. Here, and a computer system is broad in... Uh, We'll load this. Computer system is broad in the BMC Atrium CMDB. It means different things in different uh, CMDB technologies, but BMC followed the DMTF, Distributed Management Task Force, definition of computer system, which is essentially anything with an operating system. That includes routers and switches as well. Okay, uh, servers obviously, but... Um, essentially anything with an operating system. Okay, so we loaded in our first query there, so we have our uh, age and we have our host name. Next, we're going to get data from a different cube here, which is event management, and that would be coming, in this case, from BMC BPPM, now called uh, TrueSight, formerly uh, that was an acquisition, bring this up, uh, which was referred to as BEM or SIM. You may have heard the product referred to as that. This could be any one of our BI applications, so it could be NetCool as well, SolarWinds, uh, ServiceNow, CMDB. Um, it works exactly the same. So let, let me bring in the event management data now. So we'll grab that. So let's do event management and in our event manager, we're going to bring in critical incidents to see if it's correlated with uh, CIH. So we will take our measure of critical events. That's critical. I even want to start with events total, but I, I'm not going to since I already went down that path. And then we're going to bring in our... Okay, our host bring in a few related fields from the hierarchy. So you could get IP address and, and bring that in as well if that helps for you. Okay, load that. Okay, then next what we'll do is create a relationship between the data so that you have a primary key and, uh, or you've got a, uh, a primary key, foreign key relationship between the data. So you can look at your data here in the top right hand corner. And then modeling, we'll go to manage relationships and create a new relationship between CMDB and event management. Select the two and we'll 
look at what we're going to do. Uh, a one to many relationship. Okay, click close. And we've got a relationship created. So it's as simple as uh, selecting the host name, then the value of age, then the events critical. And we'll let you see that data. And then we can just uh, simply sort on that. And there we go. We've got uh, our data brought together. So you see your host name, your age in uh, days here. And then, uh, excuse me, I believe that's months. Months and your events critical. Um, so that's you know one of a million scenarios, literally, maybe even more than that. You can bring together so many different things, you know, CMDB with incidents, related changes, releases, and let's say that, you know, releases was another system like JIRA, bring that data in together, um, your monitoring system, so, you know, your asset management systems, really anything uh, is supported so long as it is a, you know, one of the supported data sources from uh, Microsoft Power BI, and uh, you have this... Um, you know, the Northcraft Analytics BI application to give you all these measurements, calculations, translations of the data so that it is in, uh, you know, kind of a uh, normal, it's normalized and, and easier to report against. Well, thank you for joining us today. And let me know if you have any more questions about Mashup. You can contact us through the website, through the uh, YouTube channel as well. And we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for your time.